So I've got a question for you. Uh, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, along with like some other really super successful people, were at some conference somewhere. And this is a story I heard. I'll tell you where I heard it not in not too long. Um, but they were at a conference, and the person who was running the conference uh, asked everybody, if you could choose one thing which has made you successful, like, hey, this is the thing that really helped make me successful, what would that be? And so Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, both, you know, just one word, just give me one word, what has made you successful? Uh, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett both uh, responded with the same word. They all wrote their word down, and Bill Gates and Warren Buffett had the same word. So my question for you is what is that word? What would Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, just one word, what word would they choose to be to represent the thing which is more than any other thing helped them be successful? So pause this video right now and just think about that for a second. And the reason I'm, I'm sharing this is because um, I found that people find it useful. <laughs> and it's something that I've thought about in my life. And it's something that I've you know, had to discover in my own life so, and, and also, you know, learn from other people. So it's been shared with me and I've assimilated it and integrated it into my own life and I've discovered it in my own way also. But uh, I'm passing it on so that it could be hopefully helpful to others who aren't aware of it yet. So uh, what would that one thing be? The one word which has helped Bill Gates and Warren Buffett uh, be successful. Pause, pause the video and then uh, try to think about what would that be? All right. So the word that both Bill Gates and Warren Buffett chose was focus. Mm -hmm. And focus is really an amazing thing. So both Bill Gates and Warren Buffett said, the thing that has contributed to their success more than anything else has been focus. And uh, focus is an amazing thing. And when I think about focus, I think about like um, a couple of things. And one thing I think about is I had a teacher at one point in my life who would say to me, drop by drop, the bucket gets filled. Drop by drop, the bucket gets filled. And so as you begin any endeavor, uh, you know, each day you just need to contribute that drop. <laughs> and, uh, and as you add those drops, over time that bucket will be filled. And it just takes time. That's it. But every day you got to be adding those drops. And if you don't add the drops, the bucket doesn't get filled. And so as you begin learning about web programming with Go, right, if this is something you're moving into, Every day, just do a little bit of, bit with it. And you might set a personal goal for yourself. You might say, I'm going to devote an hour every day and, uh, and learn this subject. And if you devoted an hour every day to learning this subject, and you did that day in and day out without exception, and if you missed a day, uh, you had a commitment with yourself to make up that hour on the next day. If you did that, imagine how good you would be in uh, a year right? Like you would have a really good knowledge base. And in two years or three years, you'd be really great. And so that's just the concept, a drop by drop, the bucket gets filled. And so focus is not to be underestimated. And setting some sort of a, a regimen, a personal goal that I'm going to do this every day, come hell or high water, this is going to happen. This is one of my priorities, right? That is something that can help you uh, really learn material or really achieve a goal. And so, you know, you have to kind of think, what are my priorities, what I want to do, and then set that goal and focus on it. So that's uh, something that I find uh, interesting and valuable and, and something in my life which has uh, uh, really sort of helped me. For instance, at one point in my life, I got really into uh, meditation. <laughs> I was like, I want to know what light, enlightenment is about. Right? I, was, I was curious about that, and I started reading all kinds of books about enlightenment, and is this thing even possible, and, um, and listening to talks from different teachers. And so, you know, if you look at all the different spiritual wisdom traditions, <laughs> I didn't realize I was going to be talking about this, right? Uh, silence is really an important part of it, just to be still, right? And, uh, you know, often people will go away for 40 days and 40 nights and just be by themselves and silent and still. And so I decided I'm going to meditate every day. <laughs> I'm going to do it an hour every day. And, uh, and I'm going to see what happens. And it's a really interesting experiment. And I kept that commitment with myself because it's a hard thing to sit there with your eyes shut, silent and still for an hour every day. And, uh, but it's also a really cool contemplative, reflective practice. And it's also really amazing just to have the experience. And I did it for about seven years until my son was born. 
Because when my son was born, I was like, that's an hour I could be spending with my son. So this is done. <laughs> And uh, and so it's a pretty awesome thing. But that's one of the moments in my life where I really sort of uh, realized the power of drop by drop, the bucket gets filled, which is having a daily commitment where I'm focused on this priority in my life and come hell or high water, I make it happen. And if it doesn't happen on one day, I make it up on the next. And so, so that sort of resolve, that sort of commitment, that sort of focus can really help you achieve whatever goals you want to achieve in your life. And it just takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. And as I've gotten older, 44 now, uh, I could reflect upon different areas of my life where that has occurred. And I wasn't necessarily clear on it before, but whether it was like me getting involved in rock climbing with a friend just because it was fun. And when I started out, I was awful. But we just kept going. And, uh, and after a couple of years, it was like, hey, you know, I wasn't even aware of it. I wasn't trying to get better, but we got pretty good. <laughs> You know, look at look at look at what we're doing. Remember when we started out, right? And and that's the natural process of things. And so as you begin this journey learning web programming with Go, I really encourage you to reflect upon uh, what are your priorities, what are you going to focus on in your life, and what is your commitment to yourself to make that happen. Is it a regimen that you can establish on a daily basis? You know, and every day I'm going to add a drop, no matter how small that drop is. 20 minutes, a uh, half hour, an hour, two hours, each day I'm gonna do that. And by having that resolve, having that commitment, having that focus, you're gonna keep adding those drops and slowly the bucket's gonna get filled. <laughs> drop by drop, the bucket will be filled. So I just wanted to pass that on because I found it to be really helpful in my life. And the more I kind of like have focused and tuned into that, tuned into that thing, I hear it from other people. Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, focus, the most important thing knowing what to focus upon and focusing upon it. And I've been listening to, in my car, I like to listen to different talks as opposed to the radio as I drive around just to you know, uh, learn about life and other people and how did they live life and what worked for them and what different didn't work for them. And so recently I ordered, uh, Stephen Covey uh, has this book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I've always been a little suspicious of like, you know, of like, you know, how to win friends and influence people kinds of books. And, you know, uh, but uh, this is a great book. It's a great I'm listening to it in the car. It is. It's a it's a great like CD MP3 thing to listen to in your car. And uh, and this is where I think uh, I heard that story about Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. And it's also something that he talks about in his book, being able to put first things first, do the important things first, knowing your priorities having that focus. All right. Somebody's banging on the wall next door. <laughs> All right. So that, uh, that is, uh, that's my take on, uh, some of the things which, uh, I have increasingly become aware of in my life that have become, uh, that are helpful for me in realizing personal goals, um, and things I want to achieve is just being able to set that priority, having some focus and making a commitment. Uh, and then uh, slowly over time, drop by drop, the bucket gets filled. So I, hopeful, I hope this is helpful to you too.